Hi, and welcome to Pro Tools 11, the new standard for audio production. In this video, we're going to look at the new 64-bit architecture and talk about the massive improvements for all kinds of production. With this release, Pro Tools has been rewritten as a 64-bit application, capable of leveraging huge quantities of installed memory for virtual instruments, massive sessions, or even huge sound effect databases. Now, all the RAM that you install into your workstation can be used efficiently and completely by Pro Tools. With the 64-bit transition, every individual component of the application has been updated, including the new Avid audio engine, the video engine, the metering engine, automation, as well as plugins. When working on massive post-production or music projects, Pro Tools 11 has the ability to tackle huge, complex sessions with hundreds of tracks, thousands of clips, and dense automation with ease. We've doubled the number of undos, and the only limit on the number of clips in a project is based on the amount of RAM you install. We can even add high-resolution Avid or QuickTime Picture to our projects with the new 64-bit Avid Video Engine, which we'll discuss more in a separate video. Perhaps one of the most dramatic improvements due to the new architecture is for creative workflows, including sample-based virtual instrument plugins. Now with Pro Tools 11, we can load a massive number of super high-resolution VIs like the Professional Orchestral Instruments from Vienna Symphonic Library. As a simple test, I've loaded 64 stereo instances of Vienna instruments into a project which is recreating all the individual orchestral parts of a symphony. We've loaded cellos, violins, violas, bass, woodwinds, and a ton of other instruments to create all the different parts of the orchestra. When you look at the combined total memory of all 64 Vienna instruments, it comes out to a whopping 15 gigabytes, nearly four times the amount of RAM that Pro Tools 10 and earlier could address for the entire application. If we take a look at the System Activity Monitor, you can see that Pro Tools is using over 18 gigabytes of RAM for the Avid Audio Engine. The Avid Video Engine is using nearly one and a half gigabytes of RAM. And we've even allocated five gigabytes of RAM to disk cache, whereby Pro Tools will intelligently load the audio from the timeline into a RAM disk, giving you outstanding performance regardless of track count or edit density. In this view, we are looking at a combination of MIDI piano roll and notation powered by the Sibelius engine, which is built into Pro Tools 11. If we hover over the memory meter in the system usage window, we can actually see the allocation of memory used distributed between audio and video. We're currently using an Halem Mac Pro with 32 gigabytes of RAM on this particular system. You can even see how efficiently the new Avid Audio Engine is handling these massive instruments with relatively low CPU usage. With these new technologies, we can dramatically improve the quantity and the size of the virtual instruments in our projects. With Pro Tools 11, we've combined a 64-bit optimized code base with a new intelligent audio engine. In doing so, we've dramatically increased the number of plugins that can be loaded and balanced in a Pro Tools session, especially with RAM-hungry sample-based instruments, such as those from Vienna Symphonic Library. By moving Pro Tools to a 64-bit application, we've dramatically increased the resources available for audio production. Whether creating symphonic cues, driving beats, or complex sound design, Pro Tools 11 has the power to tackle the largest, most complex projects with ease.